What's this? Get the fan brown. Damn. It looks like the groundhog finally saw his shadow. Cut the brown. We need to get to the bottom of this. Take Leslie with you. I work alone. Brown. We've been partners for 15 years now. I went to your Christmas party. I have a picture of your kids on my bedside table. Damn. Let's ride. How do they make that? Pipe bombs. The pipe bomb is the classic homemade explosive implement. Fun for the whole family, a pipe bomb is a basic way to take a common low explosive such as gunpowder and pressurize it in such a fashion that it will explode more violently. First, get a section of metal water pipe, about half an inch around and six inches long, and plug one end. Put some powder into the pipe. Dry, fine black powder is available from better gun shops and will work nicely, but will draw suspicion. Suspicion is bad. If you're so lucky to have access to a shooting range, vacuum up some of the powder residue that you'd find on the floors in front of shooting stalls. This will produce hundreds of chemical traces, making it far harder to trace the bomb to a specific type of powder, and by extension, to you. Now thread a fuse into the pipe. In a pinch, shoelaces, or beads, will work adequately. Scatter other debris liberally throughout the pipe. Kind of like the way raisins are evenly distributed within a box of raisin bran. Nails work nicely, as do shards of broken glass. Remember kids, safety first. These things are dangerous. Discard everything used and unused in the process. Any extra powder, any extra fuse material, or any shrapnel you could How do they make that? Killed him. Who? I don't know. Oh no. Who killed the groundhog? You son of a bitch. Who killed the groundhog? I'll ask you again, boy! Who killed the groundhog? I don't know! I don't know!
what you got. Another royal flush, man. <laughs> what you got another full house man <laughs> winner <laughs> are you kidding me hey man you know what don't be a sore loser this is this race is card you lose that's not that's not fair no that's white privilege are you kidding me yeah you won I'm, every game i'm white i don't care these I'm, are mine race, not, race no, card no what race, what what, what? 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 You know what? These are women. These, these are, these are guys, women. guys, guys! I'm a woman. Don't have a, you don't even have a car. But I'm white. I never use this. I, I try. You know. No. I, I, Dead body storage. Oh, and look at that. The old tennis left their sign here. But here at Ted's Dead Body Storage, we're slashing prices. Every Tuesday is buy one, get one free. That's right, you heard it, folks. You buy one dead body storage and you'll get a whole dead body free. That's right, two for the price of one. Now remember, every Tuesday, pick up your dead body or we dispose of it. Unrelated, every Wednesday, come to Ted's Dead Body Storage for free barbecue. What's in the barbecue, Al? We can't tell you. We can't tell you. Here at Ted's Dead Ted's Body, body storage, storage, for less, a lot less. this? Bill Nye. The science guy? Who doesn't like, raise your hand if you don't like a giant inflatable hammer. We don't? Yikes. I can't see that hand. Yikes. We only got about see a that minute left, hand. but we have one more question that's being asked in a few different ways by a few different people. How do you guys go about your rushing process or joining up or initiation, stuff like that? Um, so what we do is, ev so you have to come to an informational meeting at the beginning of the week, and then you start off on Monday, and it goes every single day of the week, and this past semester is in Fenton, so you just show up to Fenton in, like, cute clothes, like, something you would wear to class, but not sweatpants or, like, Crocs, and then... What do you, you get against Crocs? I have two pairs of Crocs. I, I would love wear Crocs. Crocs. Why not? You just gotta dress to impress, and, like, Crocs unless you have, can like, dress fancy. Crocs... Crocs can yeah. be fancy. But so saying. then you go through the process and then you just come meet us and then if you like us and you, you can continue and if you don't then like it's no pressure and whatever you want to do is like whatever is so best. We, we play no fun rush. games. Yep. We play fun games yeah. and you can eat snacks. Like we had chocolate chocolate covered strawberries, so that was cool. I mean I love chocolate covered strawberries. You ever had chocolate covered watermelon? I had yeah. it for the first time a couple days ago. Not good. Water yeah. watermelon no, doesn't really have a flavor, I don't think. Watermelon? Yeah. It's no, not. It can, it's it can have like a sugary. It's kind flavor, of just water. I guess, but like <laughs> it's still. I still think it's really good by itself. But don't don't do the chocolate covered stuff. It's just not worth it, you know. All right, so. Uh, so that'll do it from my end, Noah. I was gonna say while Dan sorts out away. his uh, chocolate covered watermelon debacle, we are gonna yeah. take Why? a quick break oh, and. Oh wait, we have a question oh, from hello, the man. Hello, and what's Brendan's here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Is a hot Brendan. dog a sandwich? Y no. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Say no. You're really excited. Yes, it Say is. no. Is a hot dog a sandwich? It is. is a hot dog? It is a sandwich. It's not. It is a no, sandwich, no, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, it's not. It is a no, sandwich. It's not. Join the. No.
a script anymore. I don't know how to make a pipe bomb. Excuse me, sir. Can you say that? In oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, dude. I don't even need the script, dude. I, I, can, I know how to make a pipe bomb. You come over to my house later.